Hi, everybody. Welcome to Refined. I'm Gard Swanson. Well, raise your hand if you are afraid of bees. Many people are. But the truth is, most bees are a crucial part of our ecosystem. And there's a local company that's renting out bees so you can help your garden and the environment. I went to check out their operation in Bothell, and it turns out I made it in time for the baby bee harvest. We're heading to Rent Mason Bees. These guys are unbelievable when it comes to making the world a better place to live. There's a statistic that's out there that a third of the food that we eat is directly pollinated by bees. We have to have bees to pollinate our food. Jim Watts is the queen bee around here. His family owned bee business has been around for decades. He says one bee can pollinate 2,000 flowers per day. Renters will pick up a plastic tube loaded with 50 to 60 bee cocoons ready to hatch in the spring, and also a nesting block. The bees will hatch in the tube and then pollinate your yard or orchard, then return to the nesting blocks to lay their eggs. Once the block is full, you send it back to Mason Bees. So Jim, what is this thing? So this is a, uh, we'll call it a bob harvester, but it's for uh, extracting Mason Bees from their nesting material. Put your hand under there and a cocoon will come right on out. So there are bees in here? There are bees. When the blocks are empty, they are sanitized with fire for future use. For the cocoons, they still have a long journey, starting with a bath. This looks like beans, but these are actually bees here? <laughs> yeah, so even though we are soaking them, <laughs> pre-soaking, these are bee cocoons. They spin a silk cocoon and it's totally waterproof, it's pretty durable. We're going to um, drain the cocoons and set them on this conveyor belt here um, that tumbles the cocoons around and also sprays it with water to just get them extra clean and get any of the debris or mites off of the cocoon. This is really quite the process, isn't it? It is. Once the bees are cleaned, they hit the spotlight. Looking for any of the cocoons that have light shining through, that means they're hollow or there's some other kind of pest or parasite. The sleepy bees will hibernate all winter in these refrigerators at 38 degrees. Come springtime, the bees hatch inside the tubes and the process starts all over again. We're actually finding a number of crops where we add our mason bees with honeybees. The farmer can get a bump in yield. People love it. The mason bee is a great bee to watch. Uh, they're safe around kids. Kids love to watch them. Um, and we get, every year we get people that are like, oh, I've never had so much fruit ever on, on the trees in our yard. And a lot of times it's just because they don't have enough pollinators. So uh, it really has a big impact. That's a busy bee. It's a busy bee. <laughs> <laughs> Rent Mason Bees delivers over 3 million bees back into nature every year. It's their way of making the world more sustainable. We think the mason bees can have a big impact, and so that's why we're involved in this. And we need to allow people in the cities, in our suburbs, to participate and understand where their food comes from.